LG has just announced a brand new advancement in OLED technology fueled by the inclusion of deuterium in the panel's manufacturing process. Stop me if you've heard this before, this sounds a lot like the EVO panel of last year. So is this all that it is? Let's dig in. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Tech with KG. We're going to talk about all of the news that came out today about LG EX technology in this video. And we're going to be talking about more stuff in the near future. So if you want to hear any news on 2022 TVs, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you guys so much and let's get on with this news. Now LG has put out a press release saying that this technology is going to be called LG OLED EX, stating that it means evolution and experience, which again sounds like an extension of last year's panel advancement, the LG OLED EVO, which was found in the LG G1 and some C1 models, as well as the Sony A90J and some Sony A80J TVs. Now aside from the advancement using deuterium, which again was used in the EVO panel, they also boast a brand new algorithm that will quote, enhance the stability and efficiency of organic light emitting diode. This effectively will allow the TV to maintain high brightness levels for longer periods of time with enhanced color, performance, and accuracy. They claim that it will be 30% brighter than conventional OLED TVs. And I found this quote to be interesting considering they said the same exact thing with the EVO panels except last year they were saying a 20% increase. So did they manage to squeeze out another 10% extra or is this a 30% increase over the EVO panels? They didn't specify which one it was. And it didn't specify it being 30% brighter than the EVO based panels of last year. So if I was a betting man, I'm going to guess that it's probably just a 10% improvement movement over the EVO panel. And if we're talking about how much brighter by nits, it's not going to be that much over the EVO panel. Now LG has also said that they reduced the bezel size from 6mm to 4mm and they have reduced the thickness by 30% so we will see slimmer profiles from the LG OLED EX panels. Now LG is also using a personalized machine learning algorithm that predicts the usage of each light emitting diode based on your viewing habits. And then they quote, precisely controls the display's energy input to more accurately express the details and the colors of the video content being played. Now I'll go ahead and link the press release in the description below, but I have to say overall it definitely sounds like the LG EX is an improved EVO panel. It is not something that is going to be a dedicated TV model by itself. LG has said this will be in some mid-2022 TVs. The machine learning algorithm should definitely help with some of the current OLED issues if done correctly, so that is definitely exciting to hear. However, don't expect the OLED to reach the brightness levels of high-end LCDs anytime soon. Now remember, the G1 was measuring at around 100 nits or so more than the C1, so I wouldn't expect a huge boost from the EX panels. I just want to go off script a little bit about this and say that I really... All in all, it does feel like it's a re-announcement of LG OLED EVO technology. The main goal of this video was to let you guys know about this technology, but also keep you a little level-headed on what to expect from this technology. Because really, it makes it sound like in the articles that it's some groundbreaking technology that's going to advance the brightness levels of OLED to numbers that we've never really had before. And while it may do that, it's not going to be anything close to LCDs as far as brightness goes, which will disappoint some people. But you have to keep an open mind and realize that that's not a realistic goal for OLED technology. So those that want those LCD numbers probably should stick to LCD and then those that just want a little bit brighter OLED well then any brightness increase will be welcomed by them. Now there's no secret to this the OLED technology's weakness is definitely brightness and being able to sustain brightness for a very long period of time. So this is welcome news anytime we hear a advancement in OLED technology that leads to a brighter picture. But I think the thing that's more exciting here is not necessarily the brightness but the efficiency and the way that it can keep brightness levels high for longer periods of time and the machine 
machine learning algorithm they speak of sounds like it should help a lot with any sort of burning or image retention that is going to be present on the TV. So I think those things get me more excited than brightness from an OLED. So while we want brighter OLED panels, I think ultimately what we're going to get is just more efficient OLED panels like we've seen from the OLED EVO panel last year. Now you have to also keep in mind that a lot of people didn't see a huge improvement from the C1 to the G1 brightness wise and a lot of people really weren't that impressed by that. So I think that you saw the A90J could really get to a higher brightness level thanks to the heatsink. So you're not really seeing the usage of heatsinks in this mindset here. What you could see is this EX technology mixed with a heatsink on some uh, manufacturers. So that's something you want to keep an eye out for and maybe that's something you can get excited about for the future. But I just really wanted you guys to get a really open mind level headed approach to this and not get too excited over it because I really do think this is a lot of PR noise that could really get a little out of control in terms of hype and I think you know this is the time of year you will see these hype pieces um, from CES from all the manufacturers so get ready to hear all of that remember what we heard last year from the Evo panels remember what we heard from the Neo QLEDs just make sure you stay grounded when you hear all this news and uh, try not to catch too much FOMO before the actual TVs are out so can we expect the LG EX to be a big improvement over the EVO panels, that remains to be seen. Now I have my speculation and I have my skepticism of it not being that much better than the EVO panels, but I hope I am proven wrong and we see something that is going to blow our minds and feel like it is definitely an advancement in OLED technology. But the use of deuterium isn't anything new, which it makes it seem like it is in the press release and in the other articles that were released about this technology. Because the EVO panels were said to use deuterium as well, so this is not anything that is brand new um, unless they're using it a different way, which again, I'm not going to speculate too much on. I just wanted to let you guys know that this is something that they've been doing in the last year with their panels already. So maybe they just found a way to get it even more efficient and it's just going to be a better Evo panel, which is kind of what I suspect. I don't expect anything groundbreaking. What it sounds like with this press release is that it will be some sort of groundbreaking technology, but really this is just some extra PR that I think is a little bit overblown. So I don't want you guys to be let down by something that is promised to be great, but it ends up being just a little bit better than last year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you excited about LG EX technology and do you think it's a big deal? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. For more TV news and talk, there's videos at the end of this one that you can watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.